All right, hey guys, welcome back to the Yo Show. Today, we are going to be fixing, hold on, let's see if I can get y'all an angle shot, this uh, brake caliper, because obviously, that's how I hurt my leg pretty bad, you know, and Down here, there's a cotter pin and some other jerry rig stuff going on. Get that off and then replace it. I bought one that uh, it had really bad reviews on Amazon, but because I was dealing with an issue, uh, it came with those teeth that apparently help it like not slide off place. I'm not really sure if that's gonna help. That's what we're gonna try today. So yeah, it took a little bit of uh, modding to get like a cotter pin on the top. So we were just doing a little. So I went back to the chopping table because the pin was too long. So obviously we had to like bring it down a bit. And the other reason why I'm doing this is because they come with this type of thing uh, with a thing in there. And I guess you can put a carter pin through and then tighten it down. But what on this type of um, goat cart, if you have that type of a uh, hole it's too small for that to go through so whoa almost fell all right guys that's it for the yo show um definitely want to make sure you got a good brake caliper on there it seems to be well i'm gonna go test it uh my last one fell on me and i've got a huge scar on my leg to huge scar on my leg to prove it I will not be uh, showing it on because I got skinny jeans on, so it's hot and humid. But uh, yeah, and the burn, which you can probably see, I got from um, the throttle return spring disappeared on me while driving. Mind you, this goat cart does go about 40, 45, maybe even 50 miles per hour. It is fast. It's a 212 on there with a regular stage one kit, just an air filter. Uh, I left a regular emulsion tube and uh, aftermarket exhaust, obviously it's straight piped. So be careful, yeah, have fun.